Hey, this is the Assembly Bandit, and I'm going to be showing you how to download games um, on your TI-84 Plus C calculator using Windows. Sorry for the bad quality. Um, this is like the third time I tried to make this video. My editing software sucks. It takes forever. It takes like four hours just to render a video, and twice already it gave me a worthless video. So I'm just going to record it all on my phone, and... Hopefully it looks okay and you can read everything. All right, the first thing you got to do, go to Google, google.com, type in TI Connect. And then select the first one, should be um the education.ti.com one. And then scroll over here, you'll see a download button. Click on that. And then the top ones are the actual software, the bottom ones guidebooks. So click on the top one, whichever language you want. Um, click Continuous Guest here. And now you're going to want to save this file to your uh, downloads. And once it's done downloading it, run that executable to install TI Connect. Um, Windows is going to complain about an invalid certificate. Uh, click continue anyway. I couldn't get that um, screen to show up a second time on my computer. But anyway, after you install it, you run it. This is what you get. TI Connect, you click on TI Device Explorer. Now, right here, I don't have my calculator plugged in. So now I'm going to plug in my calculator and turn it on. And then I'm going to click refresh. And then I'm just going to click on select since it's already highlighted my calculator. So there, right there's um my calculator. I can open it up and see what's on there. And there's already stuff on there, so what I'm going to do is delete all of it. Alright, so right now I set my calculator to reset, basically, reset all, which will delete everything in the archive and everything in RAM. And then I'm going to throw these programs on here. But first I'm going to show you where I get my games from. Go to ticalc.org. And click on Archives, File Archives, go to the 84 plus CSC, and then you can choose Assembly Programs, Basic Programs, or Flash Programs. Now, my programs are all Flash applications, so I'll just click on Flash, then Games, then um, I can select one of the... Um, downloads here. I can review it by clicking the little icon next to it to see um, I can see exactly what comes in the zip file and usually get a screenshot. Um, to download it just click that link right there. And like right now um, I got Frogger on the main page of TICalc.org so just come over here and you can click that and then right here is my Frogger game. And then I included all the uh, I included the source and all the pictures that I used in it. Okay, well now my calculator is reset, so I'll minimize that. I'm gonna click on refresh right here. That'll refresh what's on the calculator. Update that little list of stuff that's there. 
So now you can see nothing's on here. Just the uh, basic variables that you can't delete. So if I download frog, downloaded Frogger, this is what I'd get. This uh, Frogger.zip file. And as you can see in the right at the top level, there's Frogger Notes, which just tells you about the the application. Frogger.gif, which is an image, and Frogger.ack, which is the application file. Now, if you want to program for it or something, just click on Source, and um, you can modify the uh, original code to make it do whatever you want, or you can copy out, um, copy it, and copy and paste routines if you want them. But anyway, just right right here from the WinRare file, I'm just going to drag this uh, .ack file right over to the device explorer screen and because it's a flash app no matter where I try to put it it's always gonna put it into the archive I can't put it into RAM it'll just automatically go to the archive alright so while that's um, throwing it on there what I'm gonna do is show you the source for it I'm going to show you a bug that's in here actually. Now in Frogger and Tunnel I think and maybe even uh, Buttons there's a problem with my USB connection. Right here, I send uh, zero out to port 5B, hoping to disable the ints, but it doesn't do it. It doesn't work. If you unplug and plug in your cable, your USB cable to your computer, it will freeze the app, and then you have to um, reset your calculator to get it uh, back to normal. Um, basically, what happens is I don't handle the int request, and it stays in the interrupt loop uh, permanently until you reset the calculator. Now I have fixed this in my Pac-Man game and whenever I update Frogger I'll uh, fix that as well. Alright so now you can look at the calculator I'm going to click on applications and you can see Frogger's on the calculator and now I'm going to come over here here's Pac-Man.8CK .8CK files are application files um, that 8xp files are either assembly or basic programs. And then here's .8cp and that file is um, it's an extension that I use personally because sometimes I like to make um, programs for the 84 plus C and the regular 84 and this way I can tell which one's which just by looking at the extension. Now if you open up TI Connect and click on Send to TI Device, and then I'm going to go to Browse, Desktop, Programs, not TI 84 Plus, Programs. Um, you can see that .8cp, even though it's not an official extension, it's just one that I use it shows up as a TI device file. So if I wanted to I can throw it on the calculator from right here. But I'm just going to cancel that out. Close that. Oops. And instead I'm just going to drag it and drop it because that's the fastest way to put files on your calculator. Because you can select, you can rubber band, select multiple files and just drag them right over the calculator. Now, I don't want to put them in the Flash and Archive because then I had to unarchive them. So I'm gonna put them up to the top, up until uh, up to the little calculator icon, and drop it right there. That means you're dropping it into RAM. And TI Connect is kind of slow.
Now whenever you're transferring files, you should always wait for it to reconnect. Like right now, even though the files are on there, I could quickly plot the USB cable, but you might as well wait for it to connect again. Alright, so now I can look in here and verify that those programs were put on there. And now for the last one, I'm just going to drag over pacman.hck. And look, I'll show you, if I throw it up here, it's just going to go into the flash anyway. Now this program and protected program slot, um, protected programs you can only edit on your computer. Um, this program up here, hello, it can be edited on the calculator itself. Generally, um, regular programs or basic programs or assembly programs that are in hex. But once you compile a hex program, a hex assembly program, you can't um, edit it on the calculator anymore. All right, so that's all the files. I'll show you my little bootleg stand that I had to make for this thing out of my uh, little helping hands thing here. All right, anyway, here's my calculator. And right now I'm going to execute um, some programs. First, for Frogger, it's an app. So I click on Apps, and I press down, select Frogger, press Enter. And then I can start the game. Move this little dude around, die. Press on to exit this app. And now I'm going to show you how to do um, basic programs and stuff. See that program button? Press that. And now you get execute, edit, or new. As you can see, hello is editable. But I'm going to execute it. There you go. Hello. Done. That's a basic program. Um, now I'm going to show you what happens if you try to execute an assembly program. Low color, what it does is it uh, tries to conserve some battery power on your calculator by limiting the colors to 8. But as you can see, there's a syntax error. That's because low color is an assembly program. So anytime you see that syntax error, if you try to run a program, hit second, zero which is catalog and then um, hopefully this will come in go down to ASM with the parentheses click that then go back to program select low color again and then run that and there you go um, usually this top bar up here is dark gray but now it's black I'm gonna go to program edit hello just to show you the reduced colors As you can see, orange comes up as yellow, brown is now red. Um, the grays have been set at either white or the dark gray is gone to black. So I'm going to quit that out. And then I'm just going to press enter again to run that assembly program, low color. It'll say done. And then I can look up here. Well, can't really see that color difference. So I'm going to show you in the actual colors. Go back to color. And now you can see that everything's back to normal. Um, your orange is now orange. Brown is brown. And all the grays show up. Alright. So quit out of there. And now, right here is text. Since I know text is an assembly file, I'm just going to press second, zero, which is for catalog. And then select that ASM with the parentheses. And then program, select text, hit enter. And there you go. Draw some text on the screen. Hello world. Alright. Um, I'm just going to press on quit. I'm going to clear that out. Now I'm going to show you what happens in Frogger if you unplug the uh, cable. So here you go. You got the screen moving around. 
doing some stuff. I'm going to pull out this cable, and as you can see, it freezes. Nothing's moving around. On button doesn't work. No buttons work. Anytime this happens, um, period, on a... Anytime something bad happens to your calculator, flip it over. This little reset button that's normally white. I hit this little thing a lot. Just press it with the pencil. Alright. Flip that thing back around. Press the on button. And there you go. Now the bad thing about that, it clears your RAM. That means if I press program, you can see none of those programs are there anymore. They've all been deleted. I have to download them again on the calculator. Um, try not to hit that uh, RAM clear or that reset button too often. Um, unless you're developing uh, programs. Because um, it gets annoying. That's why I usually create uh, flash apps. Because I never have to worry about them getting erased accidentally. And the user doesn't have to worry about it either. Um, Alright, so now I'm going to show you a little demo of my Pac-Man game and where it's at, which isn't far, believe me. So here you go, Pac-Man. Got a little animation going on, some ghosts up in there. Um, he doesn't move around yet. I've, I've put in some code, but I haven't updated, uh, updated the app yet. Now I'm going to show you what happens in Pac-Man. So let's just say in Pac-Man, you want to download some new files, you still got Pac-Man running. You plug your calculator in, you can see it goes right back to the home screen. That way you can throw files on it or whatever. Um, if you have Pac-Man running, and you unplug it, it does the same thing. Um, yeah, so that's going to be fixed. That little bug's going to be fixed in Frogger and Tunnel um, pretty soon in the next versions. But anyway, there's a small preview of uh, Pac-Man game that's coming out next, along with um, Snake. I'm going to work on those two at the same time. Hopefully a demo for Pac-Man's out sometime soon. Um, I've been working on this uh, video for, this is my third day now, and I wasn't happy with the results before, but I'm probably not going to be too happy with this. But um, yeah, hopefully it all comes out. Hopefully it comes out pretty good. Hopefully you can... Uh, Look at the computer screen. I've seen all like it flashing like rainbow of colors on the uh, white background, but it's all good.